Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and I've come outside today and I don't know if you can see but it is snowing a little bit. It's been snowing for a few days now and that's quite good because we're going to be thinking about whether things are hot or cold. In our maths work we're going to be thinking about whether things are hot or cold because in our topic work we've been thinking about some of the places that Wally went to visit and some of those countries were hot countries. Can you remember any of them? Some of them were also very cold countries. Can you remember any of those? Let me see if I can help you. I remember that Wally went to... Oh dear, it's a bit windy. He went to Canada. Canada has some very cold places, doesn't it? He also went to Australia. And Australia has some very hot places. I also know that the hottest continent in the whole of the world is Africa. Maybe we'll learn about Africa in a little while. And do you know the name of the coldest continent in the world? I'm sure you do. It's called Antarctica. So we're going to think about whether things are hot or cold. Let's see if you can do any of these. Uh, let's go through my pictures first. Okay. The first picture I'm going to show you, an iron. Maybe someone at home uses these to make your clothes look nice and tidy. An iron is hot. Of course it is. What about, oh, do you want to build a snowman? Snowman is cold, of course. What about, what about an oven? We have to be very careful with ovens, don't we? Just like with, a, with an iron, because ovens are very, very hot. And, oh, an oven is a lot hotter than a freezer because a freezer is very, very cold. I wonder if we can have a look at some other things that might be hot or cold. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at this. I've got a kettle. I have to be very careful with the kettle because the kettle is full of water that is very, very hot. Can you see the steam coming out of it, out of the top? I'm going to do something very careful. I'm going to pour it on the ground just over here. See if you can see. Whoa, look at the steam coming off the ground. The steam coming off of the very hot water. We have to be very careful with hot water, don't we? What else have I got in my special bag? Oh, look. This is a special glue gun. What happens? is inside the glue gun it makes the glue the glue stick very very hot which means that it melts and then we can stick things with it oh have a look at this oh this oh this feels really 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 cold look i've got some ice ice is very 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 cold we might talk about that again in a minute what else have i got oh I used this just before I came on camera. Make my hair look lovely. Did it work? No. Anyway, here is a hairdryer. Hair dryers get very, very hot because that's how they dry your hair. A hair dryer is very hot. And, oh, something else that stays very hot. Look, here's a nice flask. This is very clever because this helps to keep things hot stops them from going cold. A flask helps to keep things really nice and hot and warm. It's nice though if you're having maybe a drink like this, maybe you might like to have it where it's a little bit cold, straight from the fridge. Drinks like this are often cold. One of my favourite things I like to have cold is some ice cream. We like to eat ice cream when it's cold don't we let's taste it see what it's like oh very nice i might have some of that later on so we can talk about things being hot or cold but in maths 
we also like to measure how hot or how cold something is. A day like today is very, very, very cold. Tomorrow might be a little bit warmer or a little bit hotter. And as mathematicians or as scientists, we can use something called a thermometer. And a thermometer helps to measure how hot or how cold something is. Some thermometers uh, that we use nowadays, you might point them at your head to see if you've got a temperature and they tell you how hot or how cold you are. And we measure how hot or how cold something is using a word that we call temperature. The temperature tells us how hot or how cold something is. We can measure temperature using this, this is degrees, this little circle up here means degrees and then there's a letter C, stands for Celsius. What happens is that when it gets warm, the thermometer moves up like this. And when it gets cold, the thermometer might move down like this. Now what used to happen is there was a special liquid, a special chemical inside the thermometer. And when it gets warm, it fills up more space. And when it gets cold, it fills up less space. Maybe you've got a thermometer at home in your garden or maybe one that you stick under your arm to see if you're feeling poorly. When something is warm, the thermometer goes up. The liquid goes up the thermometer. So this would be showing 30 degrees Celsius. But when it gets colder, it goes down. So the weather at the moment is probably, oh, probably only about one degree Celsius. It's very, very cold. When it gets to zero, right the way down here, that's actually really cold. That's the temperature when water turns into ice. We call it freezing point, and that's at zero degrees Celsius. Do you know what? It can even get even colder than that. And this week it's been very cold. We've actually had temperatures like, oh my goodness, right the way down there. Let's see if we can see that. My goodness, minus five or negative five. That's really cold. Because when it gets really cold, we talk about special numbers called negative numbers. We don't really want it to be really cold though. We'd like it to be a little bit warmer. I'm sure it will be as we head into spring. So this is a thermometer which helps us to measure the temperature, how warm or cold something is. What we're going to do now is we're going to play a little game where we get to try and remember whether things are hot or cold. So by the magic of television, the magic of computers, I'm going to go somewhere else. See you in a minute. And hello, and I'm in a different place now, and I've brought some friends with me, and they're going to say hello. Hello. And we hello. thought we would play a bit of a game. So we've been thinking about whether things are hot or whether they are cold. So I've got some different things here, and we're going to play a memory game. So what have we got? We've got a picture of Africa. Africa is the hottest continent in the world. So Africa, that would be a hot place. I have got... A gas cooker, which is also very, very fat. Guys, what do you think this is? Hot or cold? Hot. 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 Okay, I've got an ice pack. What do you think? Cold. Cold, oh, very good. I've got some ice cubes. Yeah, definitely cold. There's a clue. This is called a hot water bottle. It's empty. It, yeah, but... Thanks, James. But it is a hot water bottle. Maybe you've had one of these in your bed in the last few nights where it's been so cold. We've got my favourite. I've got some ice cream. And I have a kettle, which is hot. And have some milk. Best to serve milk cold, isn't it? Well done. And a flask, which is used for keeping drinks hot and cold, James. But we're going to say that it's a hot thing. All right. So have a good look at what we've got here. And you've got to try and work out what I am about to take away. So. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Can anybody guess? Maybe you could put your hands up in the uh, 
There we go. I'm going to go. Harley, what do you think? Uh, the gas fire. Was it the gas fire? Yes, it was. Well done. One point to Harley. Very good. Right, guys, I'm going to take away something different now. Right, what do you think it is that's come? Oh, James, straight hands kettle. up. It kettle! Kettle, very good. Right, next one. What's missing? What was it? Oh, Jeanetta thinks she knows. Ice cream. The ice cream. Yes, it was. Mmm, delicious it is too. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to turn it off again. Right. What's oh. missing? Oh, oh, I'm going to go Alice. The cold pack. The ice the pack. Cold pack is missing. Oh, there are two things. That's right. You know what else it was? Oh! Go on then. Me? Yeah. Hot water bottle. A hot water bottle. Right. Okay. This time, I might mix them up a bit. Okay. Right, what's missing? Oh. Oh, James thinks he knows. The thermos. It was the thermos class. Well done. Very good. Right, let's try another one. This reminds me of the generation game. <laughs> good times they were. Right, what's missing? Oh, right, Janetta. The milk. The milk is missing. Well done. What else? What else? Alice? Cubes. Ice cubes. <coughs> Very good. We're missing. And Harley, what else? Kettle. Oh. The kettle was missing. Victoria, you might have your hand up, but we can't see. I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't. Right, let's see if we can do one more then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh no. Oh. We can't see your picture. Can? No, I, I can't see Nathan's picture. He's gone small. The hot water bottle, the Africa. The water bottle, yes. Oh, the, oh, the, milk. the milk. The milk. Ice pack. The thermos thing. And the thermos. That was them all. Well done. Right, last time. Here we go. Here we go. Right, what's missing? Harley. Ice packs, the yeah. ice cube, the kettle, yeah. the hot water bottle, the milk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Charlie! Let someone else have a go. Right, so <laughs> ice pack and ice cubes and hot water bottle. Kettle. What else? Kettle. James. Milk. The milk. The milk. <laughs> the ice cream. The ice cream, yes. The thermos flask. The thermos flask. And James, you're signing it. The campfire. Campfire as well. Well done, everyone. So hopefully you have enjoyed playing that game. You could play that game as well. You could play that with someone over Zoom, someone in your family, or you could play it at home as well. We've had a lovely time playing it, and we've learned about things that are hot and cold, and we hope that you have too, and we're all going to say goodbye. Bye. Bye.